All my life, I've felt helpless, cheated, stepped on. I was always the little man, the square peg, the forgotten one. But that night, everything was gonna change. I was tired of just sitting around, accepting my fate. A rat hole apartment, a dead end job. So I decided to do something about it. I had the perfect plan. My destination untrackable. The stolen cash untraceable. I'd simply disappear into the night. But of course there was a hitch. A fly in the ointment, or should I say roach. My bags were all packed and ready. Tickets, passport, a change of clothes. I was no longer the victim. This time, I was in control. By sunrise, I'd be on a plane to Mexico with a big smile on my face and a small fortune nestled at my feet. If it wasn't for my idiot landlord, I'd be there right now, sipping margaritas and basking in the warm glow of a job well done. Your fairy godmother? Open up, Sans. I know you're in there. You got some nerve coming up here at this hour, Eddie. Where's my freaking rent, Sans? You'll get the rent in the morning. Your rent's three days late. I'll take it now. Don't push me, old man. I said you'll get it in the morning. Looks like you're packing up for a trip. You skipping out on me? Yeah, I'm skipping out. Look, if I pay you now, Will you get the hell out of here and leave me alone? Sure, sweetheart. Sure, I'll leave you alone. All right, now go back downstairs to that roach-infested hovel you call a room, and don't bother me again. It's an awful lot of money to have laying around in this neighborhood, and your door's open. Maybe next time, you might want to lock it, huh? <laughs> Yeah, 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 that's a good one. That's good advice, Eddie. Something crazy happened when I looked at that necklace. That strange locket that was supposed to be my mother's. A weird feeling, like a twisted spell. Bad mojo. My brain reeled. My knees buckled, and then there was black. The warm and somehow comforting feeling of darkness. A long and perilous detour 
into the night of my soul. The wind whale will suck you into the belly of a beast. Its blowhole will catapult you to the south and to the east. One way there is peril, hardship and dismay. One way brings you closer to the Dominican cachet. But there is another option, another clever tack. You may evade the wind machine with a bold high wire act. allowed to be used in the labs along with penalties for the offenders. The forecast showers and thunderstorms today with strong southwesterly winds to 37 miles per hour. We'll have a high of 59 degrees with the temperature dropping rapidly towards this evening. The showers and thunderstorms expected to continue into tomorrow. The overnight low is Rain tapering. Radio. 
Hey, friends. Come here, boy. Come on up and give old Eddie a kiss. That bastard Sam's. What a pain in the ass. Looks like I'm gonna have to get a new tenant.
too much. I smoke too much. Forgive me. I'm just a lonely old man. I can't sleep to save my life. You'll find her in the cellar. You'll meet her if you crawl. Beneath the sleeping giant, within the broken wall. Be wary of the lowlands. Be careful on the floor. Don't stray near the cat's hands beneath the cellar door. A capsule filled with dreams above a golden well of bliss. Doubloons cascade in streams, you must remember this. The drawbridge lid is heavy, a weight must cause a fall. To span an electric levy, gain passage through the wall.
Mr. Petito, your wife's going into labor. Doctor, I think ah! she's in trouble. Get me a tube of blood out of her eye. Ah! Jesus! Ah! Ah! You got on the brook too. The center here. BP's still dropping. We're losing her. She's gone. Damn it. All right. Save the baby. I'm going to cut. I see you. Step. Damn it. Mr. Petito, I'm sorry. Your wife is dead. We did manage to save the baby, baby. Who you are and look all around you for you are there and there is another who is part of you a great fire burns in the cellar of your heart be careful and wary of your noxious intent This room has deeper meaning beyond the sacred rat. Watch the special screening outside the mirror crack. Tobacco leaves are smoking atop a porcelain god. If the paper bridge is stoking, it will rouse the sleeping guard.
it, may your fear die as well. Fear is the great inhibitor you must conquer before you can cross the threshold of awareness. The means to solve any dilemma lie at your disposal. Remember, where there is fire, there must be smoke. Answers smolder in the recesses of thought and on the precipices of great fountains. A lake of fire, a stainless room. I'll help you conspire to trigger the spoon. A great metal grinder, the teeth in the drain. I'll help you to find her without any pain. Too late for us a savior, our lives are at an end. But continue your behavior with another hapless friend. Fire bars your entry, it will not let you pass. Save the crippled sentry, breathe the noxious gas.
Where am I going and what do I seek? Many times, for the greatest men, these questions can never be answered. Do not ask, who am I? Ask instead, who made me? For great pain was suffered at your birth, but great love was the spark of your conception. Love can still flourish in the soil of death. This is the key to life eternal. Hey, don't throw your arm out, sweetheart. You want to save all your strength for Robinson tonight. Don't worry, Eddie. I won't let you down. Down, 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 down. Yeah, yeah. I don't care what you do. I just want to get paid on time. You understand? Yeah, 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 Bruno. If I don't get my money, I'm going to come over and do a little dental work on you. Yeah, don't worry, Bruno. I I'll get the money. I got a sure thing. <laughs> you better head. Mr. Petito, I'm sorry. Your wife is dead. Never be cold again, baby. I promise you. This is the happiest day of my life. Mine too, honey. And there's gonna be a lot more. I love you, Edward Petito. I love you too, baby. Here. Eddie! It's beautiful! I don't know what to say! Say you'll marry me. Be my wife, Angelina.
These walls hold frozen memories, happiness and strife. One man's hidden enemies, a sad and broken life. In a dozen fancy bottles, life's sweet nectars dwell. A recipe is the motto for one man's living hell. Sip the colored fluid, each in strict progression. Remember all that you did and consume them in succession. Nothing left. Nothing inside of me. No one to love. No hope. Nowhere to go. I was a fool to think I could be anything without her. The bar was just a crutch and they kicked that out from under me. There's only one thing left for me to do. selfish you are, Edward, my love. Have you forgotten your child? Remember, there was a boy, unwanted, neglected, unloved. He grew up alone, bitter, cold, and hardened. He's in trouble, Edward, more trouble than you. Find yourself in him. Save each other. I will help you and him to see. Angelina, my God, what was I thinking?
Know the chain reaction that is part of all things. You cannot run run from from fear. fear. Don't Don't give give up up yet. yet. If you hear me now, then you have truly sacrificed. Know the chain reaction that is part of all things. Remember, every action ripples and ripples and ripples. Mounting energy that bloats and festers until there is a spark and then all is lost in fire. But it is never too late to help those in the path of the fire. They need only to be warned in time. Dr. Michelson's asked me to remind you about the review meeting scheduled for Monday morning at 10 o'clock. Could you please call me to confirm that? Thank you. Friday, 7.58 a.m. I can't cover for you much longer. You better be ready Monday morning because they're going to rake your ass over the coals, man. Call me back as soon as you get this message. You better have your resume ready. Thursday, 7.06 p.m.
An old man's tragic story. A life lived in despair. A bitter allegory that another young man shares. The two may be related, so climb the paper stack. The way you were created lies beneath the facts. Roger, I told you never to play with that. The man who gave that toy to you is a worthless bum who abandoned you and left you with nothing but a hideous locket and that pathetic monkey. That's not true. He would have kept me if he could. He never wanted you. It was because of you that he lost your mother. She died while having you. Roger, a lot of young upstarts come in here with grand theories and, and assumptions. Now your nicotine derivative shows imagination, but it is entirely impractical. It won't work. Dr. Michelson, if you'll just allow me a few months to work out the bugs, I can assure you that- is No. Your role here is not to propose and develop new wonder compounds. It is to assist the senior staff with their research. But doctor, I can tell you... Case closed. Dismissed. Not another word. Then you 
you have also seen a man who's lost all hope. He's running, trying to hide from all the anger and fear that has plagued him. You cannot run from fear, for no matter where you go, or what lies you may believe, truth always stares back at you from the mirror. Remember this, brother, you'll want to return when you found your sweet mother on your final sojourn. Then, enter an orifice, a cave near the door. You'll discover the Oedipus and rise from the floor. Sorry, Ange. 
but I never could have raised him without you. Take good care of him, sister. And make sure he gets these when he's old enough. The bar room. It's no place for a kid. Don't worry, Mr. Petito. We're his family now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Aunt. We're his family. You'll see me for the last time when you pass through the wall. The blades in a wind tunnel cause you to stall. In order to stop it, enter a muse. Don't give up quickly, don't blow your fuse. But first, there's the feline below on the mat. Remember, curiosity can kill the cat. ready and waiting. You barely have time to act. Remember all that you have seen. Recall all that you have heard. Flush your memory of tainted thoughts. Act decisively. That which smolders may awaken the dreamer. Run from the fire, but not the flames. The answer is family, not fortune and fame.
Smell the gas? Oh my god! What the hell was that? Whoa. Hey, hey, hey! Where'd you get this? That was my mother's. Oh my god. I gave that to her. Your mother's? My Angelina? What are you talking about? Look! You're my 
father? Yeah. We must be. I don't freaking believe it. I don't believe it either. But how else do we explain this? I don't know. Let's get out of here. Eddie told me about my mom and about the night she died. He felt so bad that he gave me up without even thinking about it. He regretted that all these years. I felt kind of guilty about blowing up his bar, so I took him with me to Mexico. I bought him a little oceanside cantina in Belize, where he does pretty good with the tourists. Me? Well, I set up a little lab down here to study roaches in the rainforest. And Eddie and I get along just fine. <laughs>